Hello everyone, in today's video I thought we'd do something kind of fun and see just how high we can fly the Cessna 172 in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I said, hey, you know, we could try it. The book says it can get to 14,000, but can we get to 14,000? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the best I can to kind of break the video up by little tiny chunks as we kind of go through it. Obviously, you don't want to watch me walk, take 45 minutes in order to get to 14,000 feet. But hey, uh, we're going to do the best we can with what we have. So let's go ahead and uh, get this up. whole little row showed here. And I'm gonna pop the button. I'm going to go down to my select option. Select. I'm going to press control. And we're going to go ahead and get an elapsed timer going here. Because uh, we're definitely going to be interested to see just how long this is going to take us to get up to 14,000 feet. Again, this is just an exercise in fun more than it is anything. I'm just curious. You know, it's just kind of a you know, macabre curiosity here. Let's go ahead and pull that nose up. And we're on our way. I just want to confirm that it did push that correctly. We want ET. I push the button. There it goes. All right. So what we need to do is we need to start immediately climbing at about 75 knots. And now what I'm going to do to help us out a little is I'm going to put the autopilot to work here. I'm going to go ahead and swing us over to the north a little bit here. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to sit there fitting with the autopilot's vertical speed while constantly manipulating the uh, mixture in order to try to get us the most optimum cruise everything. Now I'm not worried about damaging the engine or anything like you would in the real world, but hey, this is an experiment, right? So let's put this thing up to 15,000 feet. Autopilot armed, we're gonna do vertical speed mode. We should be able to get ourselves pretty quick already. We'll do a 700 feet per minute, should be initial. We'll also launch onto a hiding select and up we go. So we need to go ahead and get that mixture set up immediately. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pulling the mixture knob out already. I know it seems kind of early to do that. And we're just gonna watch my exhaust gas temperature sneak up a little bit. And usually what happens is it's gonna peak out at some point and then it's gonna start making its way back down. But like I said, mixture is going to be 90% of the work here. Oh yeah, there it goes. Look at my fuel flow. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> now that's what I call optimum cruise. All right, so uh, what I'll do is uh, we're crossing 1,000 feet. I'll see you at 2,000 feet. All right, crossing 2,000 feet. I've been fiddling with this mixture this entire time. I'm kind of happy with this kind of precision. Um, I'll see you at 3,000 feet. I know, I know. I'm, I'm leaving frequency change approved. All right, so we've had to already go ahead and reduce our vertical speed here. Now we're calling again at four minutes and 20 seconds here. I had to bring the nose down a little tiny bit. I'm, like I said, playing around with the mixture still, trying to get this thing basically perfect. But uh, so far, it seems to like me okay. See you soon. All right, so far, so good. So far, so good. This engine's uh, sailing up. Uh, we can't do more than 75% power once we cross... Uh, 8,000 feet, or it's about 7,800 feet, something along those lines. But uh, so far, we seem to be cruising pretty well. I can actually increase my vertical speed to 600 feet per minute and cross my fingers. Alrighty then. All right, we're crossing 5,000 feet. So we're almost eight minutes in. We're still at 600 feet per minute right now. So we're doing okay. Uh, we haven't had any weirdness. I'm uh, getting a little bit of uh, lightheaded here. Again, that's, that's probably the function, the altitude. And I know in about two seconds, I'm actually going to have to push the nose down just a tiny bit. Mixture and exhaust gas temperature look great. If I were a much smarter person, I'd actually set this correctly so I could see what it needs to be at all times. And I could just bump it directly into the line. All right, see you soon. All right, definitely going to have to lose a little bit of up ski now. We're going down to 500 feet per minute. So uh, we're starting to get a little slow. I'm also noticing my mixture is just a little too on the lean side, so I'm actually going to pop a couple uh, notches in here to kind of get it back up to where it was. Uh, so far, so good. Oh, man. Uh, the exhaust gas temperature is uh, now playing games with me. So if I actually enrich it like this, I can get the needle to get somewhat close to what it is, but that wouldn't be the correct mixture for this altitude. I wonder if there's like some mystery code uh, going in there just messing with my head here. But eh, we'll keep on going. Let's do it. All right, we're definitely starting to feel the effects of altitude here. We just crossed 8,000 feet, and I'm going to have to reduce my vertical speed a little bit. I'm starting to drift. Now, one of the interesting things is, is our actual uh, VY here go gets closer to our VX. And the interesting thing is when our VY and our VX actually bump into each other, we've hit our critical maximum altitude, our absolute altitude, our absolute ceiling is what they call that. So uh, let's keep on sailing. All right, 9,000 feet's looking pretty good. Uh, the aircraft's starting... It, it's doing okay. I managed to get the mixture under control here, but uh, we're definitely... Look at how much fuel we've sucked through already. Uh, we're struggling a little bit. We're about 400 feet per minute now, but we haven't gotten to the hard altitudes yet. The hard altitudes is when this thing's going to be camping here at about 64 or 65, and we're basically standing on our tail, and the engine's going, mm, no. We'll find out. 
Okie dokie. I'm noticing my airspeed's are starting to bleed a little bit here. I've got this under control, thankfully, but uh, the engine's... It's, it's not liking this very much, so I'm going to go down to 300 feet per minute. I should be able to keep this speed up, but uh, we've definitely just crossed the 10,000 foot point here, so we're going to have to see what happens. Remember, we're going for a minimum of 14,000. If we can get to 15, I'd be pretty impressed. All right, now this is interesting. Uh, my mixture handle is back so far right now that if I pull it any further back, the engine will probably shut off on me. But it gives you an idea of how little air and fuel are mixing right now. And uh, right now, we're still doing okay. Our speed's pretty good. Our speed's pretty good. We're getting 91 over the ground right now, but you can see we're indicating about 72. So we're just doing okay. We're doing okay. And we'll see you in a minute. All right, now we're really starting to feel it. We're at 12,000 feet now. So I'm noticing my vertical speed is now down to 200 feet per minute. When this needle gets stuck at 100 feet per minute, and this number is to 63, we have hit our limit. That is our service ceiling. Now, if we can get this, when this guy hits zero and this is 65, we've hit our absolute ceiling, which, like I said, is expected to be about 14,000 feet. We're doing okay. Um, again, I can't even lean the mixture anymore because I will literally shut the airplane off if I do so. It'll be interesting to see how far I travel when this is all done, but uh, let's keep on going. All right, we have 1,000 feet to go, and we're still hovering at about 200 feet per minute here. And like I said, I can't even touch this handle anymore. So uh, we're, we're, we're stuck. Uh, oh boy, can we make it? Let's find out. Will we go all the way? <laughs> well, uh, according to this, we still have some room. Look, check this out. We're just hitting the recommended service ceiling based on what they said over in Microsoft Flight Simulator here. And I'm looking and we're only at 70 knots, which means we still have seven knots of justice that we can deploy here. So um, we definitely want to take advantage of that because uh, why not, right? Let me go ahead and reset my directional drive. I was getting all sorts of wonky. So um, I'm going to keep climbing until this says 63, then I'll unpause and uh, we'll see where we ended up. And there it is. We have found our service ceiling. I have to reduce to 100 feet per minute. 100 feet per minute, and you can see here at about 63 knots and about 14,420 feet ended up being the, uh, we shouldn't be going any more than this. Ironically, my pilot isn't blacking out or anything, even though I'm sure he'd be struggling. And I'm looking out the window here, and I am so lost. <laughs> Probably up in Maine somewhere in upstate New York or something like that. So we're at 100 feet per minute, so the next thing we need to test is next time we hit 63 um, knots. When that happens, we have hit the max we simply cannot exceed that number let's find out and i think we have just found our limit uh, we're hitting just about 15,750 feet and i am right up against my vx here so this aircraft simply will not climb anymore go ahead and press that button if we fought it for another 15 minutes we could probably get it up to 16,000 feet but i feel like this airplane kind of needs a rest so what i'm going to do now real fast is go ahead and see just how far we have traveled i don't expect it to be like excessively far seeing as we spent this entire time trying to desperately get up to this altitude so let's go ahead and see how we did here okay let's see bravo we came out of bradley international because why not D, and we'll go over to the good old-fashioned Lima here, and Lima right there, enter, enter. All right, we are 75 nautical miles away, nearly 49 minutes later, uh, we've hit the absolute ceiling of this lovely aircraft here. Uh, we're basically standing on our tail, the mixture knob is almost all the way out, I'm amazed the engine's still running. Uh, you can tell we burnt quite a bit of fuel to get up to this altitude. We started at 100%, and we're sitting here at 84, so 16% of our total fuel here, and it's, uh, it's, it's Quite the view. I've, I'm honestly, I've never look at how much the nose is up. I've never visualized uh, being in a uh, Cessna 172 at altitudes like this. And I've talked to people who've done things like this before. So you know, uh, we've, we've worked so hard and done so well today. So um, let's go ahead and do some bad things. You know, wouldn't it be a shame if I accidentally got myself into a death spin here? Yeah, that would be really bad. Yeah, that would be terrible, especially at altitudes like this. Woohee! Oh, there it is. Come on. Oh, I just love this plane. Eh, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Oh, there it is. It sounds so sad. My flight instructor called this the emergency descent. So if you're on fire and you need to get as low on the ground as you possibly can in the shortest amount of time possible, this is the strategy that you utilize. Now, the interesting thing is I'm not even being as rough with this thing as I can. Although I'll tell you what's killing me right now is my ears. It's sort of like one of the dog accidentally swallows a squeaky toy. <laughs> 49 minutes in the making. 
45 seconds in the breaking. Oh, yeah. We should probably fly out of the spin that I've got myself stuck into, shouldn't we? Yeah, you're right. And pair. Nice! Alright, folks, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, that was... Whew! That took a lot longer than I expected it to take. My engine... Ugh! Gotta get it running again. Oofta! There we go. Other than that, enjoy.